You're listening to the low blow on swfight.com. I got you in trouble, man. You had me take off your gloves. I'm not in trouble. This always happens. I can do a thousand rounds, no matter what. I'm still not done because of my coach. That's just how he is. Hernandez with the low blow in Southwest Fight News here with Saddam Ali. Undefeated prospect, 17 and 0. You're fighting at home, man. Yeah, it's nothing like fighting at home. Um, my last fight was at the Barkley Center about a month and a half ago. Um, I'm excited to be back so soon. Like I said, there's nothing like fighting at home. Just everybody there that supports you, that really wants you to win, is out there watching for you and, and cheering for you. So it's a great feeling. You're being showcased early on a pretty stacked card. Three world championship fights. Do you think it's a great opportunity for you? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's amazing. A lot of great fighters on the card. Um, I'm ready to go out there and perform and, and show where I'm at. As far as here in the, the Northeast, your name is pretty well known and you're building a uh, national recognition. For people that don't know you, tell them some of the championships you had there between the 17 and 8, 18, 19 years old. Well, if you're not from the East Coast and you're yeah. from the West Coast and you know me, it's probably because of my amateur career. Because I've been all over the world and um, I've won the PL Nationals twice. I won uh, the Golden Gloves twice, the Golden Glove and National Golden Gloves twice. Um, Junior Olympics twice. Um, 2008 Olympian, first Arab American to ever represent the United States in the Olympics. Uh, first to do it from New York since 1988, Riddick Bowe. So, I mean, I've done a lot as an amateur. You know, I've done basically as much as you can do. This is making the Olympics. So, people know me from my amateur career. And that's my professional career. I'm 17 and 0 with 10 knockouts. Um, people see me, but not where I want to be yet. I still want to show more. Because of that amateur record and then now your transition as a pro, I know you have 17 fights here. Do you feel that it's the pressure has eased up just a little bit? Oh, because of me being an amateur, it's definitely eased up because it's not the same as being a professional because you have smaller gloves, no headgear, and you don't throw as many punches, you don't move around as much. But it definitely, as being an amateur and having that experience is very important because you fight, you fight the best as an amateur. So, so you get that fight in you, and that fight is in me. I have heart, I got the mind, I got the speed, I got the power, I got it all. So when I transfer it to the pro, I know how to handle it. Talk about your work ethic or your or the one forced upon you. I mean, you got me in trouble just now with your manager or your trainer, I should say. Where everybody can be a little lazy. You know, you just gotta push yourself. And um, my coach, whether I'm lazy or not, he's gonna make me work. He can say every time he tells me to do ten rounds on the bag, I do ten. No matter what, he always tells me to do two more. It's just what he does, you know. No matter what I'm doing, when I'm done, I'm not done. And that's what just happened just now. You know, it's pretty funny, but I'm used to it. What can people expect to see from you Saturday night? Um, expect to see uh, an exciting fight first and foremost, because that's one of the, main, the most important things to me to make the fight exciting. And of course. To be cautious at the same time, I'm not going to go in there and take a whole bunch of bunches just to make it exciting, but hey, this is boxing, we're going to get hit sometime, and um, it's whether you can take a punch or not, and I'm one of those fighters that can take a punch, and um, I'm just excited to go out there and perform, and to give the viewers a great fight, and that's what it's all about, really. I mean, if I'm not going to be exciting, then what's the point of fighting? You know, nobody's going to want to watch you. Where can people catch you online? Well, um... I have my own website, uh, www.sadamali.com. Um, on uh, Facebook, you can type in Saddam Ali and find me that way. And uh, Instagram is at the world kid Ali. Uh, Twitter is at real world kid. Real world kid Ali. All right, man. Pleasure. Best of luck Saturday. No problem. Thank you.